In the middle of the 2011 season, when most writers were discussing the upcoming All-Star break or trade deadline, Jeff Passan put out an article discussing a 29-year-old player from the Dominican Republic. At that point in the player's career, he had toiled through every single level of the minors and independent ball multiple times, and he had never had a season where he had 400 at-bats at the big league level. He didn't run very fast, he didn't field very well, he couldn't hit for average, and he had a hard time hitting breaking balls. But despite all of this, he had become something of a folk hero, because for all of his faults, he swung possibly the most powerful bat baseball had ever seen before. Most baseball fans probably don't remember him today, but for those that do, they remember him as the greatest power hitter that never was. This is the story of Willie Mo Pena. This is Sports Oddity. The legend of William Opeña begins in the Dominican Republic around the turn of the century, where, as crazy as it may sound today, he had become the Bryce Harper and Jason Dominguez of his era. Before he had even reached 16 years old, he was already very well known to scouts across his country and in the United States for his superhuman feats of strength on the baseball field and for regularly hitting 500-foot home runs as a teenager. The raw power that came off his bat, especially at such a young age, was something that scouts had never seen before, and as such, he had multiple teams knocking at his door. So when his first professional contract was voided after it was found out that the Mets had forged his father's signature on the document, it created an all-out bidding war for the newly minted free agent a war that the Yankees would eventually win by offering the 17-year-old a $3.7 million contract, a $2.4 million signing bonus, and an instant spot on their 40-man roster. From there, he entered the Yankees minor league system in 1999, where his potential was abundantly clear, but he also faced a ton of growing pains. He was striking out a lot. He found it hard to adjust to good breaking stuff and his fielding left a lot to be desired. Ultimately, the Yankees decided that he wasn't developing like they had hoped, and so, after just two years, they decided to trade him to the Cincinnati Reds, where he would immediately blossom in their minor league system. In his first season in single A for Cincinnati, he showed exactly what kind of promise he had to offer hitting 26 home runs with an 813 OPS at just 19 years old. And after holding his own in AA the very next season, Payne would earn a September call-up to the big league club, where he would play 13 games and record his first major league hit and home run. He would go on to earn a full-time spot on the club in 2003, but unfortunately that year saw him struggle not only with adapting to big league pitching, but also with nagging injuries that would become a huge part of his career going forward. However, in 2004, we would get a glimpse of what Willie Mo Pena could have become. In what would ultimately become the longest continuous stretch of his big league career, Pena would hit 26 home runs in 110 games, posting an 843 OPS and 1.9 wins above replacement. Stats that are already impressive at the big league level, but even more so when you take into consideration the fact that Pena was just 22 years old at the time. And so, just five years after he was first signed, it looked like Pena was well on his way to becoming the next superstar hitter in baseball. But unfortunately, the baseball gods had different plans. Despite hitting the longest home run of his career at 498 feet that season, his 2005 would prove to be a decisive step backward for him, and it was enough for the Reds to trade him once again, this time to the Boston Red Sox. And while he hit pretty well in his first season in Boston, good enough for a 111 WRC+, nagging injuries would take him off the field for a lot of that season, 
and may have been a contributing factor to a terrible slump to start the 2007 season. This would lead to yet another trade, this time to the Washington Nationals, where he would post his worst ever season as a professional, with a 31 WRC+. At just 26 years old, it looked like Pena's career was just about over before it really began. He would spend the next two seasons bouncing around the minor leagues, spending some time with the Mets and the Padres, as well as independent ball, before ultimately landing with Arizona for the 2011 season. But then, something crazy happened. All of a sudden, things just started to click for Pena, and he went on the greatest run of his professional career in AAA Reno, hitting 363 with 21 home runs and a 726 slugging percentage in the first half, including a home run that allegedly went over 500 feet. And when the Diamondbacks finally called him up to the big league club that year, he immediately made his presence known. In his first 17 games as a Diamondback, he hit five home runs and 46 at-bats, including a walk-off, almost immediately endearing him in the hearts of Diamondbacks fans. But unfortunately for those fans, and for Pena himself, those 17 games would be all he would get in Arizona. Shortly after, he'd be traded to the Seattle Mariners, where he would play the final 22 games and hit the final two home runs of his big league career. With the exception of a spring training appearance for Cleveland in 2017, Penny would go on to spend the rest of his career in Japan, where he would make two all-star teams in five seasons before hanging up his cleats at the end of the 2017 season. In the over 150 year history of Major League Baseball, there have been thousands of players that have flamed out and never stuck around at the big league level. But among this group, very, very few have developed the kind of legend and following of Willie Mo Pena. And there's still a group of fans out there who wonder what would have happened if he had been able to stay healthy, if he had gotten a few years of regular playing time in the bigs and if he had grown up in today's era of three true outcome baseball. But even though he never truly reached his potential at the big league level, I don't think it's fair to call him a disappointment. Because at the end of the day, Willie Mo Pena was out there to give the fans a show. And in that regard, both in batting practice and during the game, he never disappointed. And for that reason, the stories of his titanic home runs will continue to be a part of the baseball lore for generations to come, and as a result, Pena himself will continue to hold a place as one of baseball's most interesting folk heroes. <laughs>